Hi guys and welcome back to another plan with me video. So this week's video we're gonna use a kit again. Yay! This video was scheduled to go up last Friday but because last week I think I bombarded you guys with like three videos in one week. So I didn't want to overwhelm you with videos in a week. So I decided to push back this video till this week. The kit you see here is my Pretty Lies kit that I will be using for this week's plan with me. This week's plan with me will be planning from October 31st till November 6th. Let's get started. So at this moment, I realized I didn't print out any ombre heart check boxes for this kit. However, I do have one for my previous kit. This is for my Ink Courage. And I think the color really match well with my Pretty Lies kit. So I'm going to use the Ink Courage ombre heart check boxes. Once that's done, I'm going to top it off with my to-do headers. And next, I'm going to build my sidebars. Those of you who just joined me, my sidebars are only cut till 8.5. The whole page is actually 9 inches. The reason why I cut 8.5 is that's the only maximum length my machine allows me to cut. So I cannot cut the 9 inch full sidebar area for you guys so that's why I included some side check boxes for you guys to cover the bottom part to build on top as I mentioned before here I'm just building my sidebar so that's my daily habit tracker and then I'm gonna put another scallop check boxes on top with the header important next I'm gonna do my bottom washi however I'm just gonna do the one on the left right now because I know that that is complete however I'm not going to do the right sides because I do not know what I want to use the bottom section of the weekend for yet and I do want the bottom washi to sit on top of the stickers so I'm just going to wait until I finish that part so next I'm going to do my full boxes in the midsection And after this, this is where I pull out all the washi that I think may look well with the spread. Because as you all know, it's a challenge for me. And here I am just doing the process of elimination to see which washi I want to use for this spread. I've decided to use the silver foil washi with the blad, blad, black washi because the sticker actually has a little silver glitter on to it. So my silver foil washi is going to be my base washi and I'm just going to overlap it with the black washi on top just to add a little silver into the spread. And because it's a lace fabric washi that I wanted to use for the top, I need to cover my headers with just a simple washi. So I decided to use this purple foil washi, which I think matches really well with the spread. I'm going to put that down and then lay the lace washi on top. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I got these lace washi tape actually from Michaels. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. Because it matches my kit so well with the lace. I had to glue the trim down because the sticky part was just only in the middle part of the washi, not the whole washi. So there was a fold on the top trim and I decided to just glue it down. And now we're going to work on our today's section. I usually like to lay down my meal plan first because that's where my eyes usually go to when I know what meals to prepare for that day. Because Monday is Halloween, I have to remind myself to dress my little girl in her Halloween costume to go to school and to bring her treats. And also Monday is our grocery day and it's going to be our recycling day. 
And because it's my little boy's first Halloween, we decided to go trick or treating for them. So I have to pick up my mom actually from the bus stop so that she could pass out the candy from our house. So I decided to put that at the bottom because that day I have to fulfill a few orders so I can mail them out on Tuesday up too. Tuesday decide to take down my decorations. So I'm just gonna add a little appointment box there with a cleaning icon sticker just to remind me to take down the Halloween decorations. And I have to do some bookkeeping and tax. Uh, make sure my taxes are up to date because my year end was I think like two months ago and my accountant's going to do my books so I have to make sure I have all the files ready for them. There's always bill due on the first. That day I also decide to film my mini new release which is I think uploaded already last week so my mini new releases is up and Wednesday is my creative day where I'm going to create and design. The hard drive on my pre-loved iMac was fried, so I booked an appointment with the Genius Bar on that day. So I have to bring it in to get it fixed. Thursday is also my creative and design day. Not to mention I'm going to fulfill some Etsy order and upload the mini new release video, which as I mentioned before is already up last week. Friday I usually like to plan or film my plan with me on Friday and I want to remind myself that my little girl has no school that day too because it's a teacher conference day at her school and I will have to also meet up with the Lord to sign some papers that day. We have a neighborhood birthday party to go to on Saturday so Friday I decide to go buy them a gift. I know it's last minute but that's the only time I have. And on my list to do was to edit and upload this plan with me, but I figure I didn't do it because as I said before, I don't want to overwhelm you guys with like videos that whole week. With the bottom section of the weekend, I'm just going to cover the headers with these blank wash, not blank washi, but just blank headers that comes with the kits. I usually like to do it from the outside in because I like straight lines on my outside border I guess you could say so that's why I turned my sheets around so I could work from the outside into the week lately I've been using the Sunday bottom section as my next week reminders so just in case like I couldn't complete anything that this week I would just jot it down into that box to remind me what I really have to work on for next week to get done and because there was a little space left I just covered it with some washi. So my kit does come with eight full boxes and I have one left. I'm going to use that full boxes for the bottom section. Um, I don't know if you guys know but all my full boxes are actually the whole box including the header and that goes for the Erin Condren too. So I figured that it's better to do the whole box and then if you need to put a header on top or some kind of title on top, you could just put the sticker on top of that full box. And once I have that section done, I'm going to finish it off with the bottom washi. Saturdays are our bi-weekly date nights. So I'm just going to indicate that with a custom sticker by Styanko. Sunday's going to be our chill family day. So I'm just going to add some washi for the sticker here. And also we're going to do a Costco run that day. Here I just realized I forgot to put my weekend banner sticker. And I'm not too sure where should I put it. If I should put it at the bottom or in the mid section. So as you can see I'm just measuring them out. I've decided to put it at the top corner. As you can tell it's a die cut style sticker. Not your straight rectangle box. And I just love the lace on this.
So partially halfway through filming, I didn't have enough memory on my memory stick. So that's why you see me jumping into putting the page into my spread. As I mentioned earlier, this is my youngest son first Halloween and I want to document this with some pictures we took of him during that time. So he's in his costume and here I am just playing around with the setting to see how I want the photos to come out to print out with my Polaroid zip. So I picked out four photos that I'm going to use with this, I guess, memory card, journal card. I'm going to create for my happy planner. Next I'm just going to go through some scrapbook paper to see what goes well with my spread. I thought the red really pops out too however I decided to go with this black glossy one. I'm just going to cut everything to size and I'm just going to play around with the configuration. After a while I thought the black was too black and glossy so I'm just going to break it down and add some red to it because I did like the red against the black and here I am just sticking all the photos together and just playing around with this card just to see how I like to put my other decoration and embellishments. Once I'm happy with the card, I'm going to trace out the holes. However, I felt that having a white background was too white, so I decided to use the red again as the background. So I just double side tape those two together and just trimmed it. And we're going to place some holes so that I could put it into my happy planner. And there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me video. I had so much fun creating it and I know it took a while because I've decided to add in this journaling card at the end of the editing of this video, but I think it turned out well and it's a great way to keep memories or special occasions. So thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you in my next plan with me video. Bye!